Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Got wet hair, but I am too excited to take time to dry my hair because I have a Lego package. So I ordered some stuff um, recently because there was a really good GWP that I was wanting and you could only get it online. So put some of the sets that I've had on my wish list for a while into my cart and they made it just enough. So I think this is everything. I think they shipped it all in one box. Sometimes they ship it in two different packages. I should have used scissors or something. It would have been smart. I'm committed now. I started it. There we go. Oh, there's strings in the way. There we go. Okay. So. We shall see if everything is in here. Very excited. I think I got five things. And then there should be the gift with purchase. So six items, I believe. Let's see. Looks like they're all in here. <laughs> and the... GWP is right on top. So this GWP actually came out in like 2023, 22, somewhere around there. And uh, I didn't get it. And I was very disappointed in myself because I'm trying to get the botanical collection. I am missing the Birds of Paradise. Um, and I was missing this. Uh, but they had some and so they put it back as a GWP but it was only for online purchases. So I went online and I bought some things that I've been wanting so that I could get this to complete my uh, botanical collection as well as the two new botanical collection sets. So this one here is the chrysanthemum and these ones have vases on them look really good. This one uses a lot of banana pieces for the top bloom. Looks really good. I'm excited to build that one. And then this one is the Plum Blossom and it also has a vase. So these two are kind of like a set. So it looks really good. And then I got a small keychain. Been wanting this get a little Lego keychain. This is the like sand green color uh, 2x4 brick and it was on the clearance section so I got it so now I can have a nice little Lego brick on my keychain. And then of course I grew up watching this Batman so of course I had to get it. The box is slightly damaged but that's okay I guess. It's mainly on the back side, it's not really on the front. So I am very excited for this. I grew up watching the 1966 Batmans, which I have all of the sets so far for that, unless I make another one. And then um, I watched the animated series as well. And uh, they made this, which is the Batmobile. Comes with Batman, Mr. Freeze, and Harley Quinn. And then they also made that big, huge, like, art one that's like the skyline. Um, and that one's pretty cool. I would like to get that one, but that one's very expensive, so maybe someday. But I definitely wanted to get the car. It's a little expensive, a little pricey, but um, it looks so good, so clean. And a lot of people said that when you're done, it's really big. I don't actually see dimensions on the box, and I didn't look online, so my bad. But very excited about this, and I'm excited they added... Harley Quinn because she was always so funny in the animated series. I do kind of wish Catwoman was in here, but Catwoman is in the big set. So that's why it's not here. And then as far as, I don't think Robin's in either one. I should put Robin in one of them. And then I would needed another set to make the mark to get the GWP and I had been eyeing this guy up. Really no particular reason besides the fact I think it's cool to have an upscale minifigure. And I would love to go to Denmark um, and get the pirate 
that you can only get at Lego House, but I do not see that happening in any near future. Probably never, unfortunately. So, um, went with what I could get, which is this guy. He's honestly quite cute. And then he has a small minifigure that goes inside of his hat. He works just like a regular minifigure, so excited to build this guy. I think it'll be really cool. So, I got him, and that is one, two, three, four, five. Technically six, the keychain equals six. Six items, not six sets. Okay, so I'm very excited for all of these. Um, I think I'll actually build one of these flower sets today. Let's see here. I think I might actually build this one. I've been waiting for so long for this one. Let's build this one. I think that'd be a good idea. I'm going to save these ones for another day. They're, they're smaller ones, so I might do them both together. Especially since they're supposed to they're kind of match. They both have kind of like the same legs with slightly different bases. They look really cool. So, but I have been wanting this. So, let's uh, open this up the limited edition and uh, we'll build this. So this is a 12 plus set. It is set 40588 and as I said you can only get it as a gift with purchase. Um, it is just called the flower pot and it has 292 pieces and it has a whole variety of just random little flowers and plants stuck inside this cute yellow vase. So, I think this is really cute. I'm going to be excited to build it. So, let's uh, crack this one open and uh, we'll build these. First though, I need to get these ones out of the floor. But, I am very excited to have this. And I've actually heard rumors. I don't particularly like the people who always, you know, do spoilers and put out rumors and things like that about Lego sets ruin the surprise um, but there's been rumors that they're going to make a big 1966 Batman like creator car size so I'm excited if that is true sounds like it might be um, it's probably gonna be super expensive but I have all the other ones so I have to complete the set it'll be fine <laughs> so but I am excited about this guy. I actually have all of the series DVDs for this, except for the very last one where it like, changed animation. I didn't really care for that, so I never got that series. But I have series 1, 2, and 3. I just don't have 4, because I didn't like the change in animation. And they like, and that's when Robin leaves. And I didn't like it. So I do wish Robin was in here. That'd be cool. Although Robin does not ride. Or no, Robin does ride in the Batmobile. The Batmobile is supposed to have two seats. Does this one have two seats? I think this one just has one seat. This one just has one seat. It's okay, they can't always be 100% accurate. <laughs> but this is for another day, so we'll critique this another day. Today we will do this. So, let me get these sets out of the floor. Hold up. <laughs> Sorry, there's like a slight shadow on the table. I don't can't really get to my ring light right now. Let's open this up. No, nope. it. There it is. Alright, and I was correct on this being a 2023 because it actually says Lego 2023 on the bottom of it. So we have one, two, and a smaller two, and a smaller one. So it's just two bags and then these pieces to the side. Um, so this is the vase pieces. They're just huge pieces that I've never seen before in any other set. It's like very cool. And then we have these pieces here with this really big green piece that I've never seen before either. And the front of the booklet is just the white background. And you immediately get right into building the vase, it looks like. So I don't need these right off, it says. So let me set these lovely yellow pieces to the side. It says I do need these, and I don't need these. 
I'm working on a small table. I hope that my stuff does not roll away from me. But more than likely it will, so. There's a bunch of little bitty green eggs. They're going to roll away. It's fine. It's all part of the process. Okay, so here is what it looks like with bag one done. We have a kind of, this is like a, the, the vase, but I've never seen a vase done like this before. It's very interesting. And these uh, plates with the grates in them are actually used to be able to stick the um, plants and the flowers through so that they'll stay put in the spot. Um, but they actually do go through down inside. You can see them down in here. Um, so far we have two leaves and two of these. They didn't tell me what plant this was. Kind of wish it did because I'd like to be able to tell you. I'm not a big plant person so I don't know. Mainly because I have no place for plants in my house. So I don't really mess with it too much. But it's looking pretty cool so far. I'm excited to see what it looks like whenever all this is filled out. We still have bag number two to go. And here is what it looks like after bag two. Got a couple more plants in it, some leaves, and the outside of the vase is put on. I will say I enjoy the fact that there is no loose pieces. Unlike some of the other sets that have mulch in them. Uh, the last piece though was very difficult to get in because you put the outside on and then you just stick this down inside of there because it hangs out the outside of the pot. So it makes sense, but it was just very difficult to get it back, to get it in there. Um, but it does look good. So, um, another thing that I don't particularly care for um, is that the fact that the yellow pieces are not connected together. So, there is, some of them you can kind of see where it's like, a little bit different. They're not all smooth next to each other. But of course this was back before they started making more vases like they are now. So this was like their test run I guess kind of. Um, other than the vase not being connected together and this piece being hard to get in. It looks very cute. I love it. It looks like a, it doesn't seem like a very full vase, like when you're making it, you're like, ooh, could have stuck some more flowers and plants in there. But whenever you look at it, it, it looks like a pretty full vase. So I'm happy with the way this turned out. Looks very good. Looks full, as I said, even though really it doesn't seem like it when you're building it. It does seem very full, and you can articulate some of these leaves out a little bit, make them pop just a little bit more. These leaves are bend up and down. It just, it looks really good, I will admit. I do wish the vase was connected together. Maybe that there was like a tile piece over these four studs with the hole. Um, but it looks very good. Um, whoa. I apparently loosened that one. That's all right. I can fix it. I can fix it right now. 
that one's one of the easy ones to stick back in there. As I said, this one up here in the front is not very easy to do. That one was. If we carefully turn it upside down, you can see the base, these panels are literally being held on by a clip and then a 4x4 uh, four four brick out here. They're not being held on in place at the top anywhere, but they are staying pretty well. This is a very nice set. I, I like the color, the yellow color, nice color, and these pl the color for the plants uh, kind of it makes it pop. I love it. So I will be adding this to my collection. It's not as heavy, though, as some of the other plants have been that have vases, though. It feels very lightweight. It's not really top heavy though. Like I, I, whenever I was building it, I was like, "Ooh, this is gonna be top heavy." It's not. It's not too bad top heavy. It's just the fact that it's a it's a lightweight build. Um, but it was. It's a gift with purchase. It's a great set. I love it. I was glad that they were able to bring it back for the limited amount of time that they did bring it back because I had been wanting to get it, and every time I went to Bam or somewhere, they wouldn't have it. Or if they did have it, they had it as their own display item and not an item for sale. I'm very excited with my overall purchase of everything. I got the plant I've been wanting to get. I got a Lego brick. I'll show you a little bit more up close now. It's just the nice uh, sand green 2x4 brick. Kind of wish uh, I had a purple one because purple is my favorite. But um, as far as I know, they don't have a purple one. Or if they do, it's not on the site anymore and it's retired. Um, so I like that color though. I'm very happy I have the two new botanical sets. I bought these just in time for them to announce that now they're making more. So I'm excited for them. They are making a Christmas uh, poinsettia and a Christmas wreath. The wreath technically is a botanical collection. And I don't know if the Poinsettia is actually going to be in the Botanical Collection lineup, but it is a Botanical set. So I feel like I need to get it to complete the set. I don't know about the wreath. The wreath is a little bit more expensive. It does look very cool, though. Like, I am intrigued. It is very cool. I'm also happy I finally got a Big Fig. Very nice. But I'm super excited to have this Batmobile. So, um, be looking for building videos on all of these coming up, um, as well as some more videos of me going through my Lego. I still have not finished going through all of my Lego and trying to find the rest of my Indiana Jones original fig. If I don't find him, though, I did buy that one from Whatnot so that I could do the temple video. Um, but also, I'm just as I'm doing my going through and cleaning of everything and seeing what I have and what I don't. I'm getting rid of some stuff as I go along, so I want to keep doing that. Um, kind of downgrade and like shape my collection into what I'm get. I'm more into the displayable pieces like the flowers, the cars, the cat, and radios, typewriters, globes. Displayable pieces, not really play pieces. I will keep a lot of my play pieces because eventually I would like to have a city but if they're ones that I'm just like eh, I don't really need it I have no reason to have it and it, it wouldn't look good in a small city that I'll be able to make hopefully someday or if it's just like a set that I'm not interested in it was gifted to me or I got on a whim because it was on sale kind of thing I'm just slowly downgrading what I have um, so I have a small pile not very big. I need to go through some more stuff. But um, that is all for this video. Uh, thank you all for stopping on by. Please like, share, subscribe, um, and uh, go build Lego and let God and be looking for some more building sets <laughs> in the future. Bye everybody.